What's going on, fam? It's your boy Al. Y'all tune back in with them Jennings boys, man. And we back with another video for y'all, man. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing. Go subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification bell. Let's keep running these numbers on up, man. It's Tuesday, man. The day after the Mannheim. I was on the Mannheim auction earlier. And we ended up winning one of the cars that we uh, checked out yesterday. It was the 2016 ES Lexus. So we getting ready to uh, mount up, head up here to Mannheim. I got the, uh, I think I printed it out. Got the, uh, what you do with it, Otto? You got it, Otto? That's all right, over there on that middle of that, middle of that motherfucking, yeah, right here, man. Man. Yeah, man. Got the gate pass right here, so we getting ready to go pick it up. Take delivery at a 2016 ES250. The gray one with the, it don't say how many miles on here, but y'all see here in a minute. We're ready to head up here to the Mannheim, pick it up, and go on the first drive. So, man, come on with us. Come on, take a ride with us, man. All right, fam, we done made it inside of Mannheim. Picking up the Lexus. They got hella cars out here. They done moved a car way over to the lower level, so we got to walk way over there. I think that's where they be pulling the cars in to take pictures and post them on the website. They got them cameras and shit in here. Shit, they ready to walk over here. They got hella cars coming in and coming out. So I'll check in with y'all once we get over to the car. Alright fam, this shit dumb as hell. Car back here somewhere. They don't got no specific spot. They said lot 896, but ain't shit back here Mark. So we back here just going through all these cars. Trying to see if we can find this damn darn car. They gotta do better than this, man, huh? Y'all gotta do better than this, man. Nobody got time to be trying to... I can only imagine the transporter picking up 10 cars and you gotta go hunt down each and every one car. It's ridiculous. And there's so many cars, I can't even just try to look around and see it. Usually we be up there to go to track right there, up there. We way down here on the lower level. This shit crazy, so... Let me find this. Let me find this car, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like again. Is that it? I don't know if that's it. And just like that, voila, we done found her. 483. Let's go ahead and start her up. Start her up. There's AC floor. Uh oh. Maybe not that. We just need some AC. Let's see. Alright, y'all. Damn. Got our plate. Got our gate pass. Let's throw this plate in the back. Plate in the back window on the light. Mm -hmm. Got no bolts to attach it. Just gonna put it in the back window. Let's check, make sure we ain't got no new, no new damage from the first time we looked at it. You know, once this one in here, you can't tell them what might happen to all these cars in here. Random people moving it around. Tires look good on here still. Factories look good. See no new dings or nothing. Only issue that it ever had was this right here, but once we wrap it, you ain't even gonna be able to see that. Oh yeah. It's gonna be getting wrapped. Man, just stay tuned, man. Y'all see. Y'all see what we got going on. Sunroof. Oh. We got some gas in here. We got some gas. Man. Coach. Lexus VS350. Alright, y'all, let's make our way to this gate and check this thing out. Alright, we done made it up out of there, y'all. Made it up out the dungeon. Yeah, this is a good buy right here. This thing. Let's see how I ride on the highway with this thing ride good. Smooth. We got that nice, smooth suspension. Soft suspension, luxury feel. Coming up on the gate now, it's about four or five cars. 
in line to get up out of here. So yeah, basically when you buy a car from the auction, man, you gotta go through the security gate there, walk back here with the, find the car, then pull it up and pull it out. You gotta have a gate pass. They are gonna take all this stuff off right here. Got two keys. They gonna take the little tracker off and uh, send us on our way. And same thing when you're selling a car at the auction, you gotta check it in at this gate right here. When you checking cars in, I think you just park them like somewhere over here close and then they take it and take it from there. But yeah, finally find another car at the auction. Look, it's already five cars behind us, man. That's how you know it's sale day. One fellas coming to pick their cars up. So they can try to flip them, reflip them. What's this? Lord, man. Yeah, this motherfucker clean. She gonna like this, y'all. Hope she can keep these seats clean, though. Because these seats is dangerous. It's that cream and wheat. That cream and wheat. That cocoa. It's that Starbucks. I ain't had nowhere to set the camera. Oh, yeah. See? Like that, y'all. We up out of here. We're out of it. See, transporters. You pulling the cars up, load them up on the trucks, take them to their destination. Come on, uh, Franklin the Turtle. This boy move like Franklin the Turtle, boy. Move, y'all. You got some shit stuck in the bed. How bad is it? Ain't bad. Ain't bad. Slamming it with this oh, slam ain't gonna do nothing. Need that vibrator. Of course, the vibrator don't want to work right now. That ain't, this ain't bad at all, though. That's just that sand catching on top of that asphalt that was in there. Sand catching on that asphalt. Yeah, you gotta get that up out of there. That's cross contamination, dog. Dumping these loads, y'all. You gotta make sure y'all's bed clean between each load. You can't go dump one material then. Have some different material and mix the materials and dump them on the job site, boy. They get pissed off when you do that. Especially if O dot there checking. O dot man. You want to let the bed down? You gonna have to go have to climb over in there, big dog. Get that bitch to scrape down. Gravel right here, gravel over there, we got gravel everywhere. We got gravel everywhere. We got sales. We got bells. We got gravel everywhere. Why you jump like that? You want it all the way down or you want a little bit of a...
slowly. Damn. Come on out, I'll catch you. Just jump, bro. <laughs> Just jump, bro. I'm gonna catch you, bro. Man, you better come to this ladder. You tripping? Hold on. Hey, can you push that motherfucker? You got enough oomph to push that tarp? It's stuck down up in there. It's cool. Just come on down. That's it. Put us looking like the same thing. Oh, no, that ain't shit. It's going to hit that with some diesel. That's going to come, I mean, some lube. <laughs> like that with some, oh, my God, man. Just cut some, that one out. Soap. <laughs> it was some soap that's going to come right out. Come right out. Good job, buddy. I'm going to get a promotion. I always say you're gonna get here at a certain time. I don't never be on time. I don't talk about you. Dude. Why is it bubbling like that? It's just the way it's set. It ain't got no fuel in it though, do it? You can tell. Right here, John. Put that back. Oh, Put that back where you found it. So draining that up. Tank got a hole in it. Well, at least the tank only got a hole in the fuel side. Damn, that's how many buckets that transmission shit fuel up? Hydraulic fluid. Hydraulic, we're real quick. It's your fault, bro. You broke the thing, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Whose fault is this doing? It's both hey, y'all. Go to the front and grab that, grab that vent off the floor. It's in the front, in the front, in the front the hallway. Vent. Yep. Grab that. Grab the pulley, too. Got problem number two, y'all. There we go. No. You at least gotta ride the crane down. Buddy, if the crane worked, I'd be riding it everywhere. And it's all Je it's all Jeff's fault. I gotta work on everybody else's stuff so I don't get to work on mine. <laughs> he said, hey man. Hey, Jeff, you got a It's all Jeff's fault, man. I'm breaking the tarp. <laughs> breaking the tarp. And it still won't come out? <laughs> Question is, how do you get the new one in? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I ain't even think about that. All right, y'all. We done made it back to the yard. Now it's auto sales. Got the Lexus. She drove back super smooth. Suspension on here, excellent. So I got one minor little couple scratches right there. We're gonna get that taken care of though. Shit, overall, I'll give it like a nine and a half on the condition. A ten out of ten on the, on the way it drove. So yeah. She says she like it, so uh, we're gonna go with this one. And uh, she says she wanna wrap it. She says she wanna go with uh. She don't know, so we might surprise her with a wrap. I don't know. We're going to figure something out. Maybe try to match something with this interior. It's got a light tint on here. I might have to go darker on the tent. I already know we got to do the calibers. I don't know, fam. She had the sun setting. Got one more truck to finish working on. And we going home. Make sure y'all stay tuned, man. See what's to come for this Lexus. We got wheels for the C8 coming in. We got the wing for the C8 coming in. We got the Hellcat just sitting in the garage, getting neglected. We're gonna get back to that. Then we're gonna do a launch control video or something. And uh, yeah, let's make sure y'all stay tuned. Go back here. Work on this last truck, get this last truck out. We got trucks coming in. 
trucks going out. Two trucks late because we're still working on them. Let's see. Got the Miro. Still, they need a little wash, but uh, she still look good. I know y'all remember this Miro. In the winter time. Just finish fixing this tarp. You got that tight down there? Wait, you talking about tarp or this? This? Yeah. I seen the tarp. All right, fam, it's late night. We up here in the office, still up here at the shop, man. We're going to end this video right here. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing. Go subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. We're going to keep running all these numbers up, man. And make sure y'all stay tuned, man. We got a lot more to come, and I'll see y'all in the next video.